Hello and welcome. Uh, Urban Dragon Trainer here with a bit of a unique opportunity in the Dragon's Den. Echo has backtracked quite a bit since I've transitioned him to his new enclosure. And I now have an opportunity to show you what to do when you get bitten. So, when they bite, when they grab onto you, as you can see here, don't jerk away, don't yank, try to muscle through it, especially when they're little, because you could hurt them more than they're hurting you. I'm not jerking away, I'm not pulling, I'm not squeezing him tighter, I'm not going to try to pry his mouth off of me. I'm going to let him let go. But until then, I get to sit here. Uh, they're holding you because you got them. Once they feel safe and free, they'll usually let go. So I'll show you real quick with Echo here how to get them to let go if they just won't. It's really easy, actually. Um, you simply go to the enclosure, put them in it, and open your hand. Let's get a shot of his face chewing on me here. Once you let them go, they'll let you go. Oops. Way to prove me wrong, Echo. Usually, once you let them go, they let you go. So if I get his tail loose here and I open up my hand a little, he should let me free. It looks like we're waiting a while. But let them let go on their own time. Some monitors, like Echo is showing here, have a habit of clamping and not wanting to let go. The more you struggle, the more you can hurt them. So don't struggle. Don't try to pull them off of you because you can hurt them more. So Echo here is not letting go. <laughs> he is bound and determined to convince me that he's too scary for me to keep messing with in his new enclosure. So, next trick. See all this hiding space under here? I'm going to go ahead and work him underneath there into his hiding space where he feels a little safer. And he should let go soon. Come on, Echo. Normally, you let them go, they let you go. But Echo here, since I'm making a video, decided to prove that wrong, didn't he? So, he won't let go, no matter what I've tried after several minutes. So, and he is kind of twisting his jaw here where he's got me. So to convince him to let go, just going to reposition his body here. He is going to clamp down a little and try and bite me harder. But I'm going to let him feel free. And get my hand away from him. Now he feels like he can run away. So, see how I've got him laid out. On his rock here. See if I can get the camera on him. There. Now he feels like he can escape. So he should, if I get my fingers away from him here, here buddy, get him off my fingers. Now he feels like he can escape, so he'll let go. Try not to jerk and pull much at all, or you'll make it worse. They'll hurt you more, you'll hurt them more, and then clean it. I want to get this very clean after all of this. So there's my first big bite from Echo and you guys got to share it with me. So thanks for tuning in. And that's kind of what I recommend you do if you're bitten by a baby monitor. With a larger monitor, 
there's a little different approach because they can do much more damage than this. But the same applies. When they get a hold of you, try not to have that ouch reflex and pull away. Try not to pull them off of you. Don't, don't try to pry them off of you. This is going to cause you and the animal more damage. When they bite, relax. Don't panic. And if you have a larger monitor, you need something flat like a turner or spatula from the kitchen that is not metal to slowly slide under the end of their mouth and gently lift their teeth from you. If you start with the bottom jaw, normally they'll take this to mean they'll let go on their own. But like I did with Echo, try to release them first and then they'll let you go. If they don't let go, like I demonstrated with Echo, they don't feel free yet. I had to get Echo off of my hand and get my fingers out from under him so he could feel the cage under his feet before he felt free enough to let go. So, monitor bites.